closed for Christmas. It's been of a 747 airplane wing, and last night it came crashing down just about a mile away from some homes. Well, today residents in Acatillo are raising concerns over a mishap at a nearby wind turbine farm. New at 5, Tanya's reporter Craig Herrera explains why some residents say enough is enough. <laughs> Take a look at the Ocotillo wind turbine farm 80 miles east of San Diego. Now take a look at post 156. It's missing a blade. My kids are out here all the time. Ah. This is a road that my family has used for over 25 years. And just to get an idea of how big these are, the base of the turbine to the tip of the blade extends 439 feet into the air. Which is as tall as any building in downtown San Diego almost. There's only a couple buildings taller. That blade that fell is 173 feet long and stretches the length of a 747 airplane wing. So think about that. Falling from the sky, falling from a height higher than the Coronado Bay Bridge. Jim Pelly lives about a half a mile where this all happened. He was the first one out to see it and snap these pictures just before sunrise about 520 in the morning. He tells 10 News they should withstand winds up to 56 miles per hour for 10 minutes. Throughout the night I checked uh, as soon as I got there they were up to 19 miles per hour maximum and the wind gusts were at 29 miles per hour. And Pate is concerned about the location. Wind turbines right here are very close to the Lake Elsinore Falls. Residents here say the turbines have divided the community and many want them gone. I'm completely in favor of green energy, but the right projects in the right locations. In Ocotillo, Craig Herrera, 10 News. Just 15 <laughs> minutes ago, the maker of the turbines emailed okay. us a statement here, here, step, of no, no, in part. Siemens Energy has immediately convened a team of experts at the site who will examine all facets of this incident, including the production, installation, commissioning, and service of the blade. These turbines will remain curtailed until it can be determined they are not at risk of a similar malfunction.